Hi everyone, I'm Mao here and welcome back to Brothers A Tale Of Two Sons episode 6. Right, quick recap on the last episode. We went and stole a guy's plane and we went flying on his paper plane which we eventually crashed as we landed at Sainsbury's, well Castle Sainsbury's. We then went swinging and we managed to swing all the way up to the top of the castle and that has just brought us into this giant's bedroom. So this is where the adventure continues. So we're going to now climb up this bed with Ginger Bob and Lanky Larry. Oh! And we're going to have fun on the bed, as you do. Mm. So not only are they swingers, they enjoy oh! playing on the bed. Come on, let's carry on. All right, how do we get up there? Let's go up the wall. That's it. Come on. Come on, Ginger Bob. Do your shit. Lanky Larry, you can follow as well. Come on, what you get? There we go. Right, let's walk around the edge, see where we've got to go. I think we're in some giant's bedroom anyway, because there's a giant chest down mm. there, and there's also a giant broom as well. And I'm guessing that that magnifying glass isn't uh, mm. oversized for the fun of it. Then again, it might be oversized. I wonder if that's what the giant uses when he's having a wank. Oh, there's a bird or a dead bird in the, uh, in the cage. I guess we've got to free him. That noise alone makes you think, oh, it's going to die. Any minute now, it's going to die. But it looks like the giant's been dissecting him through like the pictures. Or oh, it's been figuring out how to dissect him. They're very detailed drawings anyway for a giant. So we're going to get Ginger Bob to go up here because I'm guessing he's got to go through that cage mm -hmm. and then climb up the wall. Because uh, Ginger Bob's the only one who can fit through that cage. We know Lanky Larry can't do it. Hmm. Come on, Ginger Bob. Oh, what am I doing? Ara, dahi. Okay, Lanky Larry, you carry on talking to it. Yeah. I don't think we've got to do anything with this to wake it up. But for some reason, Ginger Bob wouldn't go through that cage then. I'm definitely certain though he's got to go through there. There's no other way up there, is there? No. Ain't got to do nothing with that giant's uh, thing in magnifying glass. I guess we're going to need to get a move on in case the fucking giant comes back. so hard to control these two fucking characters. Come on, up you get Ginger Bob now. Come on, go. Yeah, we've looked at the drawings before. Mm -hmm. Go through there. Mm -hmm. Why won't he go through that cage? Hey! I don't understand what's going on here. I can't get him to go through that cage. Oh, there we go. Right, well, there, I don't know why he wouldn't go through that cage there, guys. Sorry about that. Right, let's use his upper body strength. Come on, Ginger Bob, climb like a motherfucker. I'm going to have to get him to drop down and then onto that... Um, like perch handle sort of thing I reckon and then that should lift up the cage for the bird I'm guessing not enough so we'll get Ginger Bob get Lanky Larry to uh, jump on his legs come on Lanky Larry swing swing motherfucker right there we go so release the bird There 
we go. So he's free. I'm sure I killed his father when I played Dragon's Dogma. But that's another game. Right, come on. Now what have we got to do? Here we go, we'll talk to the bird. Yep, we need to go to... Uh, what do you mean you've sold out of the shopping that we need? What, you're going to take us to where? Aldi? Oh, Lidl. Take us to Lidl then, on the back. Uh, one, two, three, and off we go. Right, so we're off to get the shopping from somewhere else. Obviously, Castle Sainsbury's are sold out. So we've got to go and get the shopping from somewhere else. Okay, so coming to land, that's very good for the bird to fly us out for. Her. Griffin. Ah, it's a griffin, isn't it? That's what that bird's called, a griffin. Oh. Um. It's dead. <laughs> Another thing that's dead. I'll tell you what, this game is just full of death and morbidness. Okay, so we've got a... Uh oh, we're going fishing now. How did we have that griffin's feather already? That's quite a pole you've got there, old man. Fancy a go on my rod. <laughs> oh, the fishing innuendos. Right, come on then, Ginger Bob, Lanky Larry, let's get a move on. Go across this rickety rope bridge now. On our quest for the shopping. I don't think we've got that far to go, to be honest with you. By the time we've got the shop in, the bloody f the father will be dead. Not surprised he ain't dead already. The game likes killing everything off. Right, so we're going down this ledge now. Now, there's a good reason why we didn't get caught out by the giant. It's because he's laying there dead on the floor. So, uh, yeah, we could have spent all afternoon in that giant's bedroom, I guess. Okay, so we've got to make our way through this dead giant's playground, it looks like. Looks like a massive battle's gone on here. I don't know why he didn't put any shoes on. It's just like loads of joints laying down dead everywhere. What's <coughs> going on here? Oh, he ain't washed his feet. Nice one, Lanky Larry. What's Ginger Bob going to say? Oh, he's having a sniff at all. You weird foot fetish fuckers. Can't do anything with that guy's feet. Right, let's uh, sit down and enjoy the view of loads of dead giants. Okay, let's get a move on. Come on, dad. your dad's going to be dead soon, guys. If you don't get a move on, we can't go down there. If you can't get a move on, your dad is going to die. So you need to get your fucking skates on, mate. All right, now we're going to get through here. Guess we're going to have to push this or pull this out of the way. Come on, Lanky Larry, get your fucking shit together, man. Okay. Let's move that giant's arm. Massive sword there as well. 
be good if we could just pick that up and wield it. He'd look like the actual guy off uh, Final Fantasy VII with that sword. If Ginger Bob was to walk along carrying that. What's his name? Ace McLeod here for that. It's been a long time since I've played Final Fantasy VII. Right. So we're swimming again. Ginger Bob nearly drowned. Thank God for Lanky Larry and his breaststroke. He loves stroking breasts. Right, now we've got to figure out which way we've got to go again. There's another uh, yeah. ladder there. Come on, we'll throw Ginger Bob up. Come on, up you go, Ginger Bob. That's it. Up you get. Oh, is he going to get Lanky Larry up there? Let's try going across this branch. Oh, I've got an idea. I think he's just heavy enough to get Lanky Larry to be able to jump up to that. Yep, there we go. That was a nice easy puzzle, wasn't it? Okay, let's drop down. Oh, there's a massive mace up here. Duh. I wouldn't want that to hit me in the face. Let's put it that way. Right, now what have we got to do? Because we've got to somehow <coughs> move this giant out of the way because he's blocking our path. Atta. Atta. Can't jump over that. Oh, right, we could jump up to that. Right, come on, Lanky Larry, get your shit on it. There we go. And that's going to pull him over the side. <laughs> Quality. All right, let's keep moving. And the rivers will run red with their blood. That looks so cool. That looks really good. The way that the blood is running into that river is that's awesome. Yeah. Atta. Right, I guess we've got to push this joint out of the way. It's going to be too heavy for us to push, I'm afraid. So, how are we going to get rid of him? Uh, I guess we're going to have to da. go up here. Come on, jump up, Ginger Bob. Lanky Larry, get your shit together. Go on, up you get. Up you get again. Atta. We go up further. Oh, we've got to go around this ledge. Right, we're over this ledge. Uh, we'll go across this little beam. And I guess we're going to have to push this arrow. Oh, hello, vulture. That's it, he's fucked off, so that's okay. Right, let's push this arrow. This is going to do something. Whoa! Awesome. It's <laughs> chopped off the leg. Yeah. That is brilliant. And it's made a nice way through for us. Yeah, it's not going to smell very fucking nice, is it, really? Just decapitated the giant's leg. Without any uh, anaesthetic either. It's a good job he's dead. If not, he'd come home, he'd be legless. The alcoholic giant. Alright, let's keep moving. Come on, fellas. Oh, he, is he still alive? No, he's just sitting there dead. We can't move him either. So, how are we going to move him? Right, let's go across this uh, little platform. Let's have a look down here. Oh, there's a big giant horn down here. Come on, Lanky Larry, come and blow this horn. You love playing with horns. 
be so funny if that had just given the sound of a clown horn. Or if the ping of the trophy was a clown horn sound. That would have been brilliant. Right. Let's get back. Come on. Um, let's go up here now. There's a massive crossbow here, so it looks like we've got to do something with this as well. Because there's two white um, string bindings on it, which looks like uh, we've got to use it. That vulture's keeps getting a bit bloody close as well. That made me jump then. Right. Let's see what we could do here. Come on, Ginger Bob, get into your place. And Lanky Larry, pull the crossbow. If this is going to be a boom headshot. Fire! <laughs> boom! <laughs> headshot! Brilliant. I love the headshots. Loving the headshots. Even in an adventure game like this, you still can't get away from the headshots. Right, let's keep moving anyway. Hopefully we should be nearly through this bloody chasm now. Oh, what's going on down here? Sounds like there's people shouting, so hopefully we ain't coming across the battle. Um, looks like there's a load of people down there. Chanting of some sort. Um, there's a load of chanting going on. And we're covered in blood. Nice. Right, come on then, Ginger Bob and uh, Lanky Larry. Let's get our shit together and go. Keep moving. Let's go and investigate what's going on down here. It looks like a scene from Scooby-Doo. Or Scooby-Doo 2, whichever one it was. I can't remember which one it is. Knock, knock, knock. Something in the pot. Yeah, okay, keep moving. Right, we've gone through that waterfall. So we're all nice and clean again. I guess we ain't got to go down there because the rocks are blocking the way. And it's looking like we're getting very close to this. It looks like there's a sacrificial ritual going on. Oh, let's go and save that maiden in distress. Yeah, let's go and save her. Wonder why they're killing her. Or going to do something to her. I thought that when they have sacrificial virgins, they're supposed to be dressed in white. Or is she not a virgin? Oh, it looks like we've got to go down there then. Um, but the only way round is this way. So let's keep moving down this way. The only thing is, how are we going to get past all these guys? Or are they not going to attack us? What are we going to do here? Oh, it looks like we've got to get into that position. Ah, we're going to look like the totem, I guess. We move really slowly. Hopefully they won't attack us. They'll think that we're the god. Ooh, ooga booga. We are here. What the fuck? They're attacking us. What? What went on there then? How the fuck are we supposed to get past that? Um, right, have we got to go up and around the edge then or something? Because 
if we go up there, they're going to just attack us again. Can we get up there? No. Can't get up there. Can't get up there. I don't want to go too close because they killed us the last time. It's got to be something to do with that because we've got to look like that god thing now, it looks like. We can't go over this end because there's too much of a drop. I know you're shouting at your computer screens of how to do it. I'll figure it out, don't worry. Hmm. I've had an idea. Maybe we weren't covered in blood the last time. So now let's go and try now if we're the blood god. This reminds me of Star Wars when C-3PO uh, gets confused as the deity. Yep, that's working. That's right. Bow down to the master. I'm here. If you don't do as I say, I will use magic and kill you all. You are to let this virgin woman go. Because she is going to come to the swinging orgy with us. That's it. All right, I guess we're going then. That was a bit silly to break your disguise in front of them, but never mind. Quick, run down here. Get away. Right, we made it through. The adventure continues. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you did, click the like button until you can't click it anymore. Leave a comment and subscribe to us. You can watch me on Ustream and Twitch if you ever want to or can be bothered to. And if you want to, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, add me on Google. If you want to see the next video, click down in the bottom right hand corner now. And I hope to see you on the next video anyway. So, till then, bye for now.